Hey guys, welcome to Mind Time. Today we're going to uh, talk about plot manager and running multiple jobs. Uh, in my scenario, I'm going to have multiple NVMEs, and they're different ones. And so one's a one terabyte, and then one is a two terabyte. So I might want different things happening on each of those. Um, so we're going to create two different jobs so that each one can run in a different way. So first we're going to go and um, pull up our config file for uh, plotter. Let's see here. So if you've been following along with the tutorial, we're under C, Chia, and then Swar Chia Plot Manager. And we go to the config file. Now in this, if we scroll all the way to the bottom, we have all the information for our job here. What we're going to do is copy this and paste it below. And let's call this job uh, 2 terabyte. <clears throat> so if we go to our computer, you can see I have my 1 terabyte drive, which also has my system files on it. My uh, external hard drive, which is where my perm my finished plots are saved, and then the two terabyte that I just added. So I'm going to take note that the two terabyte is going to be E. If we look at the previous job we have, the temporary files go under C, Ch Chia, and then plots, and then the destination is D. So for this one, we're going to have our temporary files stored under E, and then they're going to finish in D. So let's go ahead and edit this. Now, depending on your scenario and how much space you have on the drive and those sorts of things, you may want to change other parameters of the job. So for me, since this, um, <clears throat> since this drive can store a little bit more, I'm going to be able to do more. And of course, that's dependent on your processor and RAM as well. But for me, um, I'm going to allow two jobs in phase one. And I'm going to allow six concurrent. I'm basically doubling what I was doing since I have doubled the space. All right, I think that looks good. So let's go ahead and save that. Now, what we can do is uh, start a uh, new command. We're going to go to <clears throat> the plot manager folder. So we're going to change directory and go there. And then if we look at the uh, wiki for plot manager, we can do um, Python restart. Hmm. Let's see. Let's do python manager.py restart. There we go. So it's going to stop the existing processes, and then it's going to restart. And then let's uh, do the python manager.py view, so then we can see what's going on. <clears throat> So now we can see we have two different jobs running. One is a one terabyte job and one is a two terabyte job. And they are running at the same time. It shows the additional directory that we're using. Uh, let's see here, the E directory. We're getting information on that. Now one thing that doesn't seem right is I was expecting two jobs to be running on the two terabyte. <clears throat> So let's go back and see if maybe there was something I overlooked. So going back down to the 2 terabyte one, max in phase one is 2. Um, I'm not 100% sure if that's the answer, but let's go, let's just give that a shot. Stagger minutes is 0, so they should be starting at the same time. <clears throat> hmm. I 
Ah. We just needed to give it a little more time. <laughs> All right, so everything was set up correctly. It just, uh, for some reason, it <clears throat> offset them by about a minute, which isn't horrible. So this is great, and you could do it just this way, but um, I like to automate everything. So last time we created a shortcut that had some commands built into it. And let's see, that was under Chia, and then if we right-click properties, this line here has some commands built into it. The unfortunate thing is as we get more and more complicated, <clears throat> this box only allows so many characters. So I can't put more commands in there. So we're going to have to find a different method to do this, which is probably a better method. So what I'm going to do is right-click in here and hit New Text Document. And we're going to go ahead and open that up. Actually, let's um, let's rename this Chia Plotter. And um, let's go ahead and open that up. And I'm going to save this as Chia Plotter dot bat. And you can see we have it. <clears throat> if I could spell it correctly. Let's try that again. Save as. Change this to all files. And we're going to call it Chia Plotter dot bat. And save that. Perfect. So now you can see we have this Windows batch file here. And I'm going to delete the text file because we no longer need it. So a batch file works as a series of commands to do something. So if we run it, which there's nothing in it yet, <laughs> it doesn't work. But if we put some commands in there, it should. So let's copy all of our commands out of here. And let's right click on Chia Plotter bat file that we made. We're going to hit edit. So let's paste those commands in here, and that'll give us a good start. <clears throat> There's a few things we need to remove because we're doing this in a different format. So each line is going to be a command that you would type into, um, into the command line prompt. So you can go ahead and edit this and make it so that each line separates the commands. Okay, perfect. Now, <clears throat> there's a couple things we might want to change. Because here we go ahead and we delete the old temporary files before we restart the things. But now we have temporary files in two different folders as opposed to just the one. So <clears throat> we probably want to go and have it delete this E drive as well. So let's make a copy of this line. And let's change the directory so that we delete that folder as well. One other thing I might change is rather than Python manager start, I'm going to change it to restart. What this is going to do is if Python manager is already started, it's going to restart it where in the past, it would not do anything because it's already running. If Python Manager is, or uh, if Plot Manager is not running, then it will go ahead and start it. So let's go ahead and save this. And let's see if we can run it. Perfect. So when we click that, it went ahead, it deleted the files, and then it restarted plot manager and then it brought up the view which is exactly what we wanted it to do so what we can do now is we can delete our old shortcut and we can create one of this okay and then we're going to do the windows key and r again and go back to our uh, startup folder we're going to move the shortcut there 
This way, when your computer boots, it's automatically going to run that. So then let's uh, just try that one more time. Deletes the files. Restarts. And it's off to the races. This is really great because uh, as we as things get more and more complicated or you want to add more things, we can go back into this file and edit these commands and put as much as we want, which is awesome. Um, anyways, this has been my time. Hopefully this helps you out. If you have any questions, make sure to comment. Hope you subscribe. Stay tuned for future videos. Um, good luck.